Praise the Lord, hallelujah, and thank you, Jesus. It's around that time right here on KAZ Radio, where I have one of my most favorite ministries, The Voice of Love, with Apostle Leon and Margie Nelson. Take it away, Apostle. Good afternoon, family. We are Good afternoon. Excited. You know, there's nothing like where we are experiencing now. What did Pentecost mean? You know, what happened with the invasion of love into the atmosphere of humanity again and it's now through you the church we can't wait to get started so we're just gonna go and get started mm -hmm. we're gonna agree okay because we want to give you three declarations we believe if you check them it'll begin to position you for the relationship of a lifetime. Mm -hmm. So sugar let's agree. Say Father. Father. I am so excited. I am so excited about Pentecost. About Pentecost. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Coming. Coming. To partner with me. To partner with me. To make Jesus look good. To make Jesus and look good. And I'm ready to do I'm that. I'm ready to do that. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. 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 First John. First John four. Oh my goodness. Sixteen through nineteen. Yeah. Amplified classic. <clears throat> And we know, understand, recognize our conscience of by observation mm -hmm. and by experience yes, yes, yes. and believe, adhere to, and put faith in and rely on the love God cherishes for us. Mm -hmm. God is love. And he who dwells and continues in love dwells and continues in God. And God dwells and continues in him. Mm -hmm. In this union and communion with him, Love is brought to completion and attains perfection with us that we may have confidence for the day of judgment with assurance and boldness to face him. Because as Jesus is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love. Dread does not exist. But full-grown, complete, perfect love turns fear out of doors and expels every trace of terror. For fear brings with it the thought of punishment. And so, he who is afraid has not reached the full maturity of love, mm -hmm. is not yet grown into love's complete perfection. Mm -hmm. We love him because he first <clears throat> loved us. Galatians 5 and 6 always change the process, though. His love makes his faith work. Mm -hmm. Let me give you the scriptures first. We're going to explore together and believe that healing, health, strength. We've already made a declaration. Mm -hmm. The enemy has no place. He's already been muted. But the voice of the Lord is clearer than ever before now. Yes. In John, the eighth chapter, verses 29 to 32, put that in your notes. Now, John 8, verse 29 to 32. All right. Watch this. Matthew, the 11th chapter, verse 28 to 30. 1 Thessalonians. 5, 23, 24. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Watch what I want to show you now. Pentecost was the beginning of the beginning again. Let me show you what I'm saying. Pentecost opened the door for the Father's dream of relationship and fellowship with his creation to come again. Remember, mm -hmm. Genesis was all about relationship. The beginning of the relationship between him and his creation. Now, Pentecost opened that door again for the relationship to start all over again. Let me show you what it's about in relationship. Let me read this declaration. What Jesus prophesied in the 8th chapter of John. Listen to what Jesus said now in the 8th chapter of John. This is an amazing statement about relationship. Jesus said, He who sent me is ever with me. My Father has not left me alone. But I always do what pleases him. So we see what was on his mind, right? Doing the Father's will. Now watch this now, talking to us as disciples. As Jesus said these things, many believed in Jesus. They trusted. They relied on. They adhered to what Jesus had said. So Jesus said something else now. Jesus said to the Jew, but he said it to us now because we're in the family. Who had believed in the head, we've already believed, because you abide in my word. There it go. Because not here. Because you abide in my word, you hold fast to my teaching and live in accordance with what I'm teaching and what I'm showing you. You are truly my disciple. What are you saying? You're learning. Mm -hmm. You're learning from me 
to be like me, though. Remember, as he is, we just mm-hmm. read it, so are we in this world. Yes. That's what he's talking about. Watch 32. And you shall know me, and I'll set you free. Why did I do that now? John 14, 6 describes him and his function in three words. Mm-hmm. John 14, 6 describes him and his function. And watch what he say. He said, I'm the way. <clears throat> he's, he's describing his function. He's on the truth. He's talking about freedom. He said, I'm the life. Look at what he's doing now. He had been with them three and a half years. They hadn't comprehended yet because they didn't have the ability to comprehend. They didn't have the Holy Spirit. Right. When the Holy Spirit came after Pentecost, everything began to come together. Remember Jesus told me, say, I'm stuff I want to tell you, but I can't tell you now, but when the Holy Ghost comes, now the Holy Ghost has already come. Mm-hmm. All right? To teach us like he taught Jesus that we can begin to enjoy the benefits. Mm-hmm. Now watch discipleship. Matthew the 11th chapter, verse 28 to 30, can be the key between, watch this now, relationship and religion. Let me say this right quick. Oh, uh-huh, yeah. Okay. I uh, hear <clears throat> it also says when he, um, in the 20, I'm sorry, in the 32nd verse, and uh, Apostle said, and you shall know Jesus, mm-hmm. and Jesus will set you free. Yes, yes. It also says you shall know the truth, yeah. and the truth will set you free. Okay. So Jesus is truth. Right. The Holy Ghost is the spirit of truth. Because the Spirit came as a representative of Jesus, right. and Jesus is the truth. Mm-hmm. So he is the Spirit of truth. Right. That's why your love affair can be amazing if you understand. Remember last week we told you the Holy Ghost came in Jesus' place mm-hmm. to represent him, mm-hmm. act on it, and teach you? Right. Right? So Matthew 11, 28 now. Is that process? Look at look at that now. Watch how powerful this is. Matthew 11, 28 to 30. What does it say? It says, Come to me, look at that. all you who labor and are heavy laden. Relationship, right? He said, Now, in mm-hmm. our relationship, you don't pose to be like that. Mm-hmm. Look at that now. Come to me. You don't pose to be like that. Come on, show. Who are labor. Who labor and are heavy burden, mm-hmm. heavy laden and overburdened, mm. and I will cause you to rest. Look at that. I will cease and relieve and refresh your soul. Look at this. One. Look at this now. See the Holy Ghost. Mm-hmm. The Holy Ghost came for your soul. Mm-hmm. The Holy Ghost came for your soul. Salvation is all about your soul being reconnected and submitted to your spirit. Can you see how powerful this can be now? When you start to understand, as I begin to renew my mind, Jesus say, this is what I did. Now you come to me and receive my benefit, right? Receive for your soul. Look at that. He didn't say your spirit. You know what I'm talking about? He was talking to them about what he knew they needed because the battle was in the mind, mm-hmm. the will, mind, and emotion, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. He said, if you if you struggling with your will, mind, and emotion, come to me. And the one That's that right. Said, what, what do 29 say, Shook? 29 says, oh my. Take my yoke upon you, you and learn of me. See that? For I am gentle, meek, mm. and humble, mm, mm, lowly mm. in heart, mm, mm, and you mm. will find rest, relief, and ease, and refreshment, and recreation, and blessed quiet for your soul. Is that too much to say? Can you all see that, though? He said, I know where you're going to have an issue when I leave. Mm-hmm. I know where you're going to have an issue when I leave. So come on, join with me. Pentecost now. That reconnection with the Holy Ghost, the spirit of freedom for your soul. <clears throat> Let me release something now that you're hearing people say everywhere. All right? And it, it discredits the relationship, how hard things is. Oh, it's so hard. Oh, it's going to be so hard. Do you know why people are saying that? They don't know this part of the word. Jesus took hard for you. Mm-hmm. And he's showing you, come to me now. 
renew your mind. Watch it. So your soul, when you hear people talking about how hard it is, it's their soul. Mm -hmm. It's their soul. It's their will, mind, and emotion that they're not, they're not trained and they're not, they're not renewing their mind. So everything is a struggle for them because they're still trying to do it with willpower and not by grace. You can't do nothing in this kingdom without the grace and faith that's been given to you as a gift. Mm -hmm. But if you don't embrace it as that, guess what? You're trying to do willpower right. to do the Father's will mm -hmm. in your struggle, and mm -hmm. you're talking about how hard it is. I'm listening to people every day talking about how hard. They're not telling you the whole story. It was hard for them because they was trying to do it themselves. In their own strength. They were doing it in their own strength. And they, Now, watch this. I tell people, if you listen to me, you don't have to mess up. Because I'm going to tell you about your soul. I'm going to tell you where your struggle is. Then I'm going to connect you to the grace that's already yours now so you can hook up with the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Did we do 29 like right? Mm -hmm. Did we tell about ease? Yes. Relief? Mm -hmm. Refreshment? Mm -hmm. Recreation? Mm -hmm. Blessed quietness? Oh, yes. Well, let's yes. kick it with 30. Though. What do you say? For my yoke is wholesome. Hold up, baby, right there. What are you saying? If you hook up with him, what? It's wholesome. And what else? Useful. Oh, good. good oh, my. Not harsh. Not hard. Ooh. Not sharp. Mm, mm, mm. Or pressing. But. But comfortable. Oh, not bullshit. Gracious. Hallelujah. And pleasant. Ooh. And my burden mm, is light mm, mm. and easy to be born. Do you see your potential? Yes. You know, one thing that, on, that I want to eat in, in Matthew eleven twenty eight 28 through 30, so to, because he's saying you can find rest and peace, mm -hmm. uh, rest for your body and peace for your soul. Okay. So where are you struggling? What are you struggling with? Okay. How and when did the struggle begin? Okay. And when you ask the Holy Spirit to show that to you, that's when the burden can be lifted because, see, then you're giving it to him. Okay. He says, come unto me. Yeah. Uh, if you are heavy, heavy yeah. laden, that's yeah. that struggle. He says, and I will cause you yeah. to rest. His will. I will ease and relieve yeah. and refresh your soul. Yeah. Because I don't care what it is that you're struggling with. The struggle always starts in the mind. Always. Sure. And when it starts in the mind, he always. says that I can relieve mm. and yeah. refresh your mind, yeah. your soul. So true. Look at the deal now. I've been doing this for a year, and I'm going to keep on doing it till we all catch it. Mm -hmm. Your ears are your keys. Your ears are your keys. Mm -hmm. Your ears taste words. Like your if mouth. the enemy mm -hmm. can't contaminate your thought life, he can't get you in fear, doubt, and he unbelief. He cannot. He cannot. See what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. The soul. Fear, doubt, unbelief is in the soul. But it get in your soul through your ears. I'm worried about this. Well, I'm worried about this. Yeah. Well, what about this? What about if he gets you with the what about? He's going to have you to drip over to fear, doubt, and unbelief, and you're captured again. Can, can you see what I want you to see? I want you to see the Holy Spirit came to teach you what the Father's will, watch this now, what Jesus' will, and what the Holy Spirit's will is for your soul. That's right. They don't want you to be stressed. Mm -mm. All right? But it takes the Holy Spirit, what she said, the Spirit of truth who's already in you mm -hmm. to expose you now to his will Watch this, which is wrapped up in his grace, bears to your will, mm -hmm. which is wrapped up in human effort. Right. Remember now, your will is human effort. All right? His will is supernatural grace. Mm -hmm. Come on, family. This and, belong. Mm -hmm. Come on, show. And this you know, on you, in your natural, you can't do it. Can't do but it. But when you add his super. Shoot. To it, come on. You become yeah. supernatural, right. and not only will he give you the strength to get it done, mm -hmm. he'll give you the plan to follow Everything. to get it done. Absolutely. Because in your natural state, 
you do it, it's like you say, it's so hard. Mm -hmm. But in your supernatural state, mm -hmm. it's not you. In your natural state, you're giving instructions. You're um, plotting out the past. You're being the scout. Mm -hmm. But in the supernatural, you're listening to the Holy Spirit yeah. that knows which way to go. Yeah. And all you have to do is follow his instructions, and mm -hmm. you get it done. Look at relationship now. Mm -hmm. Can you see your relationship with the Holy Spirit? Watch it. The same relationship now that Jesus had. Mm -hmm. he, he came to be like you so you could learn how to be like him. Mm -hmm. Isn't that powerful to tell yes. somebody? Yes, yes. Hmm? I wanted to go somewhere, but I just heard another scripture I need to show to you to show you now the teamwork that the Holy Spirit brings to you. Hebrews 2.18 we're going now, I think. We, uh, we're supposed to be on our way to, to First Thessalonians, but we're going to go to Hebrews 2, 18 first, because that's what I just heard the Holy Ghost say. Let's follow him and watch what he wants you to see now about what belongs to you and how much help you got. You got it first? Mm -hmm. 2, 18, what is that? Okay. It says, for because he, um, Jesus himself, oh my in his humanity. Wait now, wait. What is that, Shuka? What is that? His what is that, In his body. His natural his, state. His natural state. My goodness. Has suffered and being tempted, mm. tested, mm. and tried. Mm. 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 He is able that, immediately. That type of shot to run to the cry of mm. assist and relieve mm. those who are being mm -hmm. tempted and tested and tried and who therefore are being exposed to suffering. What is suffering now? That That's place that of decision-making. Right. Uh -huh. See, at the place of decision-making, if you do it separate from the Holy Ghost, you got to use willpower. Mm -hmm. And when you use willpower, it's you. When you use willpower, it's you, mm -hmm. and he's going to deceive mm -hmm. you every time because he's already got a stronghold in your mind. He's already, he already got you thinking a certain way. And when pressure comes, you, you go back to the other way. Every time pressure comes, you go back to what's familiar to you. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The love of faith causes you to understand you're being discipled into another way of thinking. Right, right. To right. another way of mm -hmm. thinking. And that other way of thinking, watch it, it's what we're doing the whole year. Mm -hmm. Right? The mind of Christ. That's Let right. Let this mind be in you, mm -hmm. which is also in Christ. Wisdom, the mind of Christ that gives instruction that leads to victory. Yeah. See right. what we're doing this year? And you know, too, what you we're talking about that relationship, right. that partnership. I'm telling you. When you partner with the Holy Spirit, oh, then you can develop the mind of Christ. That's the joy. And it's that mind of Christ that you need. Right. Once you, it already is yours. Right. Do you know you develop your natural mind by yourself? Mm -hmm. You had tutors and teachers that exposed you to information. Mm -hmm. Watch what the Holy Spirit does. The Holy Spirit exposed you to truth. Not just information. No, 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 no. The Holy Spirit came to expose you to freedom. Hmm? Uh -uh. Revelation is freedom. Mm -hmm. Information is just information. Right. Can, can you see that? You have information, all kinds of stuff. You know, you can Google. Well, I Google and find out about Listen, a limo. Yes, you can. You know what I'm talking about? About a limo. About a limo. Okay. Yep, yep, see, information. But the Holy Spirit is for revelation, new life. Do, do you know this? Now, everybody, no, I'm not, that's wrong. That's a wrong statement. Uh -huh. Most people talk about the old man. Watch this. In the kingdom, they don't talk about the old man. Uh -uh. Let that sink in now. Uh -uh. Let that sink in. In the kingdom, the only thing on the Father's mind, Jesus' mind, and the Holy Ghost is you as a new creature. Second Corinthians 5, 17, say, because you're in Christ. What does it say? You're All right. things have passed away. Behold, in All their heart things. now. Mm -hmm. All things is new, but as a disciple now, Salvation is an adventure mm -hmm. of discovering the new you. Mm -hmm. Do Oh, my goodness. Do you know the new you? Hmm? It's amazing. Yes, he is. The, uh, the new you is Genesis 1, 26 and 27, because the new you is his image and his likeness. 
Yes. You look like him and you act and like you him. Act Do you like hear what him. I'm saying mm -hmm. now? You don't want English. You look like him and you act like him. That's what he sees. Now what? The love affair in meditation brings you to revelation and your testimony. Do you want to see how he say he see you? Should we? Okay. First Thessalonians 5, 23 and 24. This is how he sees you now. And if you agree, you can start an adventure today. You can start an adventure today. What does it say about us? And may the God of peace himself oh, sanctify you mm -hmm. through and through. Yeah. Separate you from profane things. Hold on a minute. Babe. What is a profane, profane. A profane word? Thing. Is anything contrary to truth about you? Mm -hmm. A profane thing, thing all we did with words. It always did with descriptions. Mm -hmm. What does that thing look like? What does that thing? Da 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 da. Right? Things are always talking about words now. Profane words are words that are full of fear, doubt, and unbelief, unbelief. about your identity. That's okay, right. Sugar. That's right. So, uh, profane things. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? Make you, make you pure oh my goodness. and holy, ah. consecrated to God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How much? And may your spirit and soul and body be preserved sound yeah, and Lord complete. Jesus. And found blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah. So let's slow down right there. When is that? Right now. Mm -hmm. Right now. This is not the end of the world now. Mm -hmm. This is the place of your next victory. That's right. When Jesus comes, just say you got a weakness, you got a sickness, got a something. Whenever Jesus comes, he comes to attack that. Remember Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil? Me and the apostle were talking more. And watch it. When the enemy comes against your body, watch it. You're supposed to attack it in Jesus' name because it's a trespasser. You know, on television, they come to the defense and say, uh, this private property. Mm -hmm. And if you come across here, I'm going to shoot you. Because you, you're you, doing can you what? Uh, trespass. Because you trespass. Can you all see mm -hmm. this? Leave today understanding now. Whatever is wrong with you is illegal. In the kingdom, it's illegal. That's right. And you've got legal rights to attack it in Jesus' name. Because, you know, Ooh. when they say you trespass, and that yeah. means that that land belongs to them. Oh, my. They bought it. Already paid for it. Already paid for Jesus. it. So this is Jesus. the trespass. And you are trust. Mm. This is the, the, the uh, land that has been mm. bought by yeah. the blood of Jesus. My, my, my. So anything contrary to that anything. is trespass. It's a lie. Mm -hmm. But you can't get rid of a lie with an argument. No, you can't. You have to get rid of a lie with authority. Mm -hmm. Truth is authority. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you don't understand the authority is in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm, and you begin mm -hmm. to use his name as a weapon, not as a cliche. Right. People use the name of it's Jesus. Power as a power in the name of you Jesus. You know, that old shot. When you understand his name is a weapon, all right, and you begin to do it, saying the name, you ain't got to pray. Slow down. Once you know it's an enemy, you know, the person don't, have to identify them, but this is my property. You ain't got no business over here. That's I'm going to shoot you. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. Watch it. This is property. I belong to him. Sickness, sin, and disease don't belong in this property. So I attack this property in Jesus' name. I command this sickness to come out of my body. God's property. I command this mm -hmm. disease to die at the root mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. Why? Because it don't have no ring. It don't have no right. Mm -hmm. Watch this now. You see what he said he want to do. Mm -hmm. The guarantee though is in the next verse. What did he say in the next verse? He's faithful. Oh, Jesus. Would he start out like that for you? Faithful is he who is calling you to himself. And utterly trustworthy. My goodness. And he will also do it. What? Fulfill. Oh, so okay. Do what? Heal. Deliver. Wait, now let's do it like this. Watch over his word to perform it for you. What about that? Hmm? It's his word. Remember, that's not your words. Mm -hmm. It's his word. Hmm? Quit looking at you. All right? 
Quit looking at what you ain't done, what you should have done, what you would have, should have, could have. Quit. Because mm-hmm. Jesus redeems what he done. the time. He done it. Mm-hmm. He done it for you. Yes, yes. What he wants you to do, I'm, I'm telling you now, your past is not a part of the kingdom. Come on and enjoy mm-hmm. your future. Discover sickness don't belong to me. It does not. Sickness don't belong. My, most people are fearful to even say it. Because they say, well, you know, you got to have some. You got to have the Father's will if you're a believer. Mm-hmm. You don't have to have everything in the world. You can be in the world, but not of the world, and have be light and salt because mm-hmm. of what Jesus mm-hmm. done mm-hmm. while he was in the earth. He was light and salt. Now we can be light and salt, and you can enjoy, testify. When you partner with the Holy Ooh, Spirit. When you partner with the Holy Ghost. Did you see how he described himself? Now, do you believe that for you, though? Do you believe he want to be faithful to you? Mm-hmm. Wait. Do you believe he called you, though? Mm-hmm. Hmm? Do you believe he himself, is he uttering the trust words for real? Well, watch it. Do you think your situation, circumstance, and condition bigger than him? Let me show you how to challenge yourself. What's on your mind more than anything? That or him? Jack, come on, check mm-hmm. yourself. Mm-hmm. If you're thinking more about your situation, circumstance, and condition, that's got your attention. Partner with the Holy Ghost. And focus on Jesus now. I say, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. In Jesus' name, I'm finna open my mouth and stop playing around in my mouth. Listen, watch I'm showing you now. You can't be saying nothing with your mouth and speaking with your other tongue. I say what? Mm-hmm. You can be saying nothing with your mouth and speaking with your other tongue. Your mind got a tongue. Okay. You can sit there and talk yourself to death in your mind. Ooh, without really? a word without, coming out your uh, mouth. Without a word coming out your mouth. Without a word coming Come on, y'all got to catch the enemy. Hmm? He'll get you to thinking about your condition. Now you meditate. Hmm? You in hoops with the devil. In cahoots. Hmm? It's called you're strife. In, you're, you're, you're in strife. Mm-hmm. You're fussing on the inside. Right. And he helping you fuss. Mm-hmm. Hmm? But if you open your mouth. In Jesus' name. If you open your mouth. In Jesus' See, name. watch it. Faith come by hearing. Mm-hmm. Death can come when you start listening to the wrong voice. Do I need to say that true. again? Yeah. Faith come by hearing. Mm-hmm. Death can come when you start listening to the wrong voice. Go watch it. If you listen to the wrong voice long enough, you know what the scriptures say? Out of your heart. Your mouth, will, you will eventually speak your death. Out of your, oh my goodness. Out you don't mind. see what I'm telling you? Out of your mouth come the issues of life and death. Mm-hmm. Remember I done it in the book, 18? He said death and life. He didn't even say life first. Look at because he know the yeah. enemy. Right. He said death and life. He said death first because he want to help you right there. Recognize on, what the enemy is doing right. so you can listen come what you over listening. Who are you listening to? to? Mm-hmm. Who are you listening to? Quit. Make up your mind today. Mm-hmm. I'm going to ask the Holy Ghost to show me how to partner with him. Don't struggle for him. Mm -hmm. Don't struggle. Don't struggle. Let me go back. Jesus said, come. Listen to it. That's what he said. Jesus said, come. He didn't say struggle. He didn't say beg. No. He didn't say come to try to qualify yourself either. Don't go to the Lord and say, Lord, you know, I've been going to church. I've been doing my tithe. I've been... No. No. Don't none of that do it. Do you know what all that is? All of those are acts of honor. All right? Mm -hmm. That's an act of honor. But the deal is Jesus. The the deal ain't what you do. The deal is what Jesus has done. Mm -hmm. And when you let it come to him, look, do you have this invitation, sugar? He said, don't go nowhere else. Uh -uh. Mm Uh-uh. Don't go nowhere else. Come to me. Come to me. Don't now. Where have you been going? Have you been going everywhere but that? Mm-hmm. Why just stop? Mm-hmm. This ain't no fussing. Stop. If you know you've been going to the wrong place in your mind, stop going there. That's right. 